Good evening. It sounds simple enough. If they can't drink, then they can't drive drunk. A state senator wants to put alcohol monitoring bracelets on convicted drunk drivers who claim they are not driving anymore. Here's News 13's Alex Tomlin. About two-thirds of drivers in New Mexico required to get an interlock after a DWI conviction never do. The bracelets would be an alternative. This will save lives. Senator George Munoz represents Cibola and McKinley counties. He's seen firsthand the DWI problem in that area. Now he sees an answer, a scram bracelet. It senses through perspiration the alcohol that's in your system and uh, then it sends out a reading either through a home phone line or you go back into the probation office. The bracelet would be mandated for any DWI offender who doesn't get an interlock, something that's required after a conviction. We did find that there was the opportunity for people to sign um, a waiver, an affidavit basically that says I don't have a car, I won't drive my car if I do have one, that type of thing. Problem is officers pop repeat drunk drivers all the time using a spouse's or a friend's friend's car or their own car. This would provide another alternative so that we know that they're not driving drunk on our highways. Luno says he's sure the bracelets will work because he says they already have. It changed their their thought and, and they didn't drink. Gallup probation officers put habitual drunk drivers who they believed were still drinking while on probation on the bracelets for 30 days to test them out. Just one person was caught drinking. He was thrown back in jail. The trial was free, but if the bill passes, the high-tech leg jewelry will cost money. We want the offenders to, to pick up the tab. It's about $9 a day, but Munoz says it actually saves much more. We know that the cost of the system per day is cheaper than jail. And at the end of the day, we've done something right and we saved somebody's life. That 30-day trial ends Wednesday in Gallup. A judge actually had a visit from a child thanking him for putting his parent on an ankle bracelet to get his drinking under control. Dean? All right, Alex, thank you. If that bill passes, drunk drivers would have to wear the monitor for the same amount of time they would have had to have an interlock on their ignition. That's basically a year for each conviction until the fourth conviction. Then it is for life.